Hey, welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in simplest possible way. In our previous videos, we have discussed so many things about strings. We have discussed about strings. We have discussed about indexing and slicing. We have also discussed about string concatenation, string multiplication, and also string comparison. So in this video, we will be discussing one of the important characteristics of strings, which is immutability, which means that whatever we have present inside of the strings can't be changed. So to understand this more clearly, what we will be doing is that first we will be understanding the mutability with respect to list. So list we will be discussing in our coming videos for the time being understand list is like a container. We can able to store some things, some elements inside of a list. So for that reason, I am taking a list which is L inside of this. I will be taking a numbers, some numbers, one, two, three, four. We need to separate with so for that reason, I am taking four numbers. So here we can able to see we have four elements inside of this particular list. So what I will be doing is that I will just print this particular list. So we can able to see we have four elements, right? So after that, what I will be doing is that I will replace. So we can actually access these elements using indexing as like strings. So for that reason, I wanted to access this particular two. So for that reason, we need to mention one as like a strings. These are indexes starts with zero. Go how many number of elements we have minus one. So in order to access this particular two, I am mentioning one here. So in this particular index, so let's print this. So we can see in L of two, we, we in the in this particular index, we have the element which is two. So now what I will be doing is that I will be replacing this with 22. So now if I print this particular list again, we can see this particular thing got changed Two becomes 22. So now we can see that this got changed. The elements inside of this particular list got changed, right? So for that reason, in order to understand more clearly, we will be printing the memory address so that we can able to know either it is actually got changed or some other object got created. So for that reason, I will be printing ID by using this ID method. We can able to retrieve this particular memory uh, position of this particular list. So for that reason, I will be mentioning L here. So I will just print before to understand more clearly. So I am mentioning before here, I will be printing again this particular ID so that we can able to understand more clearly. So I am printing after here. So here I will be mentioning ID of L. So here I need to print before. So now if I execute this, we can able to see ID of this particular list got does not got changed. You can observe here and here. So and still we have changed this particular item here. So like this, we can able to change the items elements that are inside of this particular list, which is considered as immutability. Mutability means we can able to change the elements. So immutability means we cannot able to change. So let us go ahead and see with respect to strings. So for that reason, what I will be doing is that I will take a string here, which is nothing but subscribe. That is what we generally take, right? Subscribe. So this is what the string that we are taking. So now what we will be doing is that as like list, we have we can able to access this particular elements using indexes, right? So for that reason, what I will be doing is that I will print some index here. So to understand clearly, first I will print this particular string. After I will print some index, let's say I want this particular B character here. So for that reason, what I will be mentioning is that I will be mentioning string and this B is in the two, zero, one, two, second position, right? So for that reason, I will take this particular here so now if i execute this we can able to get the strings string which is subscribe and we can able to get this particular b so now if we try to do this kind of operation in here what i will be doing is that string index 2 that is b right so inside of this b i wanted to change this b with something else let's say i wanted to assign b as bbb so three b's i am assigning here so now if i execute this so we are getting error string object does not support item assignment. So like this, we are getting this particular error, which is a type error, which is telling you cannot assign this particular B 
to this particular index that you have mentioned. So by this, we can able to understand that the strings are immutable. We cannot change the elements. We cannot change the characters inside of a string. So now what we will be discussing is that in 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 order to deal with strings, we have a method which is a replace. So by using this replace, we can able to change the uh, elements or characters inside of a string. So you might be asking, hey Mahesh, just now you said that strings are immutable and strings inside of a string, we cannot change elements, right? So you might be asking that, but let us go ahead and see how this replace exactly works. So in order to understand, I will be taking an example. Let's say, I am taking a string which is like here. So this is what the string I have. So I wanted to change this like to subscribe. So for that reason, I am taking this string. We will be using this particular method also considered as a function. We generally call it as function, right? When we have this kind of a parenthesis, we will be calling this particular as a function. So as Python is object oriented programming, we will be calling this as method. So function and method call alternatively. So we will be using using this dot operator. After this dot, we will be calling this particular method that we are having. So I am calling this and we need to pass some arguments, right? So I wanted to replace this particular like with subscribe. So for that reason, we need to mention this particular string that what we wanted to change and with this particular new string. This is the old string and this is the new string that we wanted to change. So I will be mentioning subscribe here. So now if I execute this, we can able to see the string got changed from like to subscribe. So let's say I will print this particular thing so that we can able to understand more clearly. So you can able to see the result of this print statement, which is here string dot replace of like to subscribe. We are getting subscribe instead of like here. So now what we will be doing is that I will replace this particular thing. I will assign with some other string, let's say substring. So instead of substring, I will be taking string two here. So by using this string two, we will print this particular string two here. So now if I print this string two, we can able to get the result which is subscribe here. So which means this replace method is replacing this particular like with subscribe. I hope, I think you have got some confusion. So to understand, Clearly, what I will be doing is that I will take one more example here. Let's say I will take this particular string. Instead of string, I will take this particular like string here. So instead of this like string, I will be mentioning this like. So now what I wanted to do is that I wanted to change this particular k with the three k's, k, k, k. So, so that we can able to understand. So for that reason, I am calling this particular string dot replace with what we wanted to change, we wanted to change this particular k. So here we can actually mention the substring that what we wanted to change and with the substring that what we wanted to change. Here it is a old string, old substring. Here we need to mention the new substring. I wanted to change it with k, k, k. So if I execute this, we can able to see the result instead of 1k, we are getting 3k's here. I will assign this to, let's say, k, k k k k string here. So now I will print this particular k k k string. So if I execute this, we can able to see the result we are getting like with three k's here. So now I hope you can able to understand by using this replace, we can able to replace whole string or sub part of the string, which is substring with a new string. So apart from this, we are replacing this case k with the three k's, right? So Let's say I will take one more example here to make you more understand. I will be using this subscribe here and subscribe string with the subscribe here. So after that, what I will be doing is that I will call the subscribe string and with replace subscribe. Sorry subscribe string here dot replace so i wanted to change this particular s here with capital s so for that reason what i will be doing is that i will mention s here and i will mention capital s here 
So now if I execute this, we can able to see all these SS. We have two SS instead of this uh, subscribe, right? So these two SS got replaced with capital S you can observe in here. So now what I will be doing is that I will mention, I will pass one more parameter here, which is nothing but a count. This replace will take three parameters. One is old substring, another one is new substring that you wanted to replace, another one which is a count. So how many number of occurrences that you wanted to change? So here we have two occurrences of SS, right? So we are changing directly all the occurrences by this capital S you can observe here. So by mentioning the count, we can we can change the occurrences as we have mentioned. Let's say I will pass one here because we have two. So because of that reason, all these are changed. If I pass only one here and execute this, we can able to see only one occurrence got changed as capital S. This particular another occurrence of S does not change. So if I mention two here, we can able to see these two S's got uh, became upper cases. So by this, we can able to understand by using this replace method, we can actually replace the substring or a whole string with some other strings. So let's say I will take one more example here to understand more clearly. Space S string, space S string, inside of this, what I will be mentioning is that if you found this video, interesting hit like and subscribe here so i am having this string which is a spaces string what i wanted to do is that i wanted to replace all these spaces with nothing so or otherwise we will be replacing all these spaces with the new line character so that we will be getting all one after the other so for that reason i will be mentioning spaces dot replace I am calling this particular replace here and what I will be passing is that I will pass this particular space inside of the string we have spaces right so I wanted to replace this particular space with a new line character for that reason we will be mentioning backslash n by mentioning this backslash n we can get all of the strings in a new line so now if I execute this we can only get this particular as new line which is like this we are getting so instead of that what i will be doing is that i will pass nothing so that we can able to understand more clearly instead of space i don't want anything for that reason i am just mentioning as nothing so now if i execute this we can able to see all this whole string is coming as without spaces you can observe there is no space inside of this particular strings right so Instead of this, I will mention count here. Let's say I will mention three here and I will mention three and execute this. You can able to see we are getting one space here, one space here and one space here. Like this, we are getting spaces here. So you can observe in this in this piece of here, we don't have any spaces. So here, the, these three spaces, one is here, here, and here these spaces are replaced with nothing so because of that reason this whole string is coming as a single element so up after that we are getting the spaces so by this you can able to understand we can actually replace the elements by using this particular replace method but one thing we need to understand that does it really replacing or what else it is doing so if we make, if we check this with id which is nothing but the memory that we what we will be using to check the memory address we can able to understand clearly right so for that reason what i will be doing is that i will take one simple example that is what we have taken previously right so i will take the same example of like becoming subscribe here we have subscribe right we have previously got this particular let's say i am taking this particular string which is string which is like after that i am doing this particular replace and assigning this particular replacing with this particular string itself so now if i execute this we can able to get the subscribe by using this string variable so now we will check the id so that we can able to get the memory so now i will print this particular id of this particular string so I will mention this as before so that we can able to understand more clearly. So I am mentioning before and here I will be mentioning after. So here I will mention this particular ID here. 
So now what we are doing is that here we are printing ID before actually using this replace. Here we are using this particular ID after this particular replace. So now if I execute this, you can able to understand and see here we are getting ID of string which is completely different from this ID of string. So by using this replace method, we don't actually replace the original string, rather we, we, this particular replace will return an object that is after replacing this particular string. Let's say the meaning is that we will be having a string, this string is got replaced with some other string and creating a new object and that object is returning with this particular replace, which means that the existing one, the previous one that what we are processing, processing does not change its memory, does not have any impact, does not change originally, rather it will just returning a new object. So because of that reason, we can see the memory is completely different. So previously, when we see this particular uh, this particular thing, which is of this particular list, we are getting the same memory here. But when we check this particular thing with this particular string, we are getting the different memories. You can say that here we are assigning this particular thing here with the strings because of that reason we are getting this. So we can actually remove this and check this ID directly. Right. So here I am passing this particular whole method directly and I will print this here so that we can able to understand. So now if I execute this, we can able to see here we are getting a new memory address here. So by this you can able to understand this is creating a new object and you can see here the string here and here also getting the same thing because we are not assigning right so we are not assigning to string so for that reason we will be getting the same ids here but here we are getting different id which means that this return of this particular replace is a new object because of that reason we are getting a new memory address by this we can came to conclusion that these strings are immutable which means we cannot change the elements inside of a string so now i hope we can able to understand this particular immutability of strings and I hope you have found this video interesting and I hope you have understood this video. So if that is true, hit the like button. In the next video, we will be seeing some of the methods which we will be using to access the index, right? So in our previous videos of indexing and slicing, by passing index, we are able to get the characters instead of a string. So in the next video, we will be using some methods while we are passing a character or a string instead of the substring instead of the string, we can able to get the indexes. So that we will be seeing in our next video. So thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. To stay updated with my latest videos, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever I upload any video, you will get the notification. See you in the next one.